Hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this video how to day trade any market the $1,000 a day challenge now from now on I'm going to I'm putting out four or five of these a week now uh, so uh, I'm just going back so this will be session 54 so tomorrow I'll be putting out so I've already got uh, three more days of sessions of 1000 plus to show you so I'll just label them so as they come through uh, name them so uh, you'll be able to watch them um, so you know you're not watching a repeat session I suppose is the best way for me to say this now thousand dollars not enough simply trade more contracts uh, you don't need that just trade less and so in today's session we're going to be looking at trading 5 NQ contracts and yes I do do other markets as well however you want to be trading the market that's can I say the kindest to you the um, uh, the best suited one thing I love about the Nasdaq is you get some great volatility a great trading range now with that as you'll see in a minute that can be a double-edged sword as well so traders there is a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose the great thing nowadays is virtually every trading platform allows you to trade with the simulator so start on that so of course you can read you can pause the video to read the disclaimer if you haven't already click on the link below to download my ebook better still become a member for $197 you get all of my indicators um, the 38 powerpoints the hundreds of hours of recordings and no you don't have to learn all of my strategies just the core ones whichever you want uh, and oh mustn't forget make sure you subscribe to my channel click on it now give me a big thumbs up so uh, we make sure we keep you updated with all of my videos and I've got a bonus at the moment too where you can also attend eight of my two-hour live coaching sessions where I'm teaching you step by step my setups if you can't attend the live sessions they are recorded all of that for only $197 if you want to continue after your first month you can then go to my website and sign up for $97 a month thereafter okay end of ad let's get into this first of all I received an email from uh, someone that uh, received an email with a link to one of these recap videos and he said Ray you're doing uh, doing it in the overnight session which is much easier let's see you do it in the 8 to 12 session betting you can't do it the volatility is so great especially on the NQ you'll get stopped out all day long and um, uh, the gentleman's name I actually emailed him back and I said you are correct and that is why we use different time frames for different times of day now this is very very important so I'm showing you here uh, how to trade the four tick that is or, or how I'm trading the four tick which I haven't even got on my list here so what we've got here is um, various times of day well I don't have the times of day but the speed of the market and if you're trading with Renko charts we do it differently with tick uh, the risk that you've got and the account size that you've got and that's following the 2% rule that is we never risk any more than 2% now you may say well hang on Ray I don't have six and a half seven thousand dollars that's why you start on the micro and you build your account to give you an example here let's just say here um, uh, you, um, let me pull this up this is really important traders so if we look at this here if you started say on the 8 tick so on the 8 tick let me go back to that sorry uh, this is so on the 8 tick uh, on the big contract I'm saying you need let's round this up to seven thousand dollars okay so it basically means you need uh, seven hundred dollars or ten percent of that if you're trading a micro so you can the micro contracts at ten percent of the value of a big contract now very comfortably uh, as you'll see you can achieve forty dollars a day trading an eight tick micro because of the size of the swings that you've got so what you do and it's safe you've got two or three thousand dollars you see, or even if you've got 10 or 20 start on a micro master the art of trading then you can flip over to the big contract now what this means is this 
if you start on the micro with $700 go for $40 a day uh, down here within 11 weeks uh, let's just say 10 weeks there you've got your $7,000 on going for only $40 a day when you have got $1,400 you start trading two lots when you've got 21 you jump up to three you're using the markets money it's all about the math now I could show you ridiculous spreadsheets here but compound it like you wouldn't believe but that's not the reality now then when you get over to um, uh, trading uh, the big contract here that's when you know things really accelerate for you for an example let's just say here that uh, you're on you've got a seven thousand dollar account you're going for your four hundred dollars a day look where you are look at your earnings there within weeks okay this is the uh, look where you are in nine weeks this is per week this is the true potential the fact is though most traders are not willing to do the work just like most traders won't watch and listen to the logic of what I have to say in a lot of my videos they want to get to it they want to get live trading and that they wonder why they don't make any money we've got to follow the 2% rule if we are day traders and scalpers okay you, you don't risk 5% as I still see out there it's ridiculous it's 2% you've got to learn to trade like a casino do we see the casino changing the house rules because I've had five losses in a row of course not now they do have table limits so I'll only take so much money on the table just like we'll only risk so much per trade a maximum of two percent and so it's so important traders that we learn to trade professionally just like as we scale up or based upon the time frame which is beyond the scope of this video um, uh, the time frame we trade now during the globe accession I can easily trade most of the time the four tick as you'll see in nearly all of my videos here where I'm trading after hours that's the great benefit for you for most people getting home from work providing such during the New York session uh, you can trade the lower time frame and it means you need a lot less in your account for an example on the four tick the maximum you need is four thousand dollars you can get that down to around three and a half thousand still following the two percent rule break the money management rules and you won't stay in the business this is a reality this is a business and what a great business to be in now this is from a member sent this to me a few years ago and just about um, uh, trading the ES and you can apply this to um, any market and as he said here winning is a numbers game that's all this is it's about the math and he refers to a movie called the money ball okay where Brad Pitt is in it and what he does is talking about statistics all the way through get on base you've got a chance to score okay and that's what it really comes down to getting on base and in our business it's really launching for, with the right setup which we're going to be talking about today now I've got a marketing manager okay handles the back end and my emails and all that sort of thing he says to me Ray oh, you, you need to cut your videos down to 10 minutes 15 minutes but the fact is I can't get the core information I want to get out to you I want to see you succeed whether you become a member of mine or not okay to succeed okay you, you, you just can't merely be interested in day trading you've got to be committed to day trading and one of the things here is that we've got to know the math okay so it's just a really valid point here from one of my members and it's just so true so for the gentleman that wrote to me about that very very true we need to follow of course uh, what is the right time frame and actually did I have it here no I didn't I thought I've got another slide what's the right time frame to trade whichever is tradable now believe it or not on the ES you can't trade a uh, one tick now during the globex session if you use tick charts you can get down and be trading a 34 tick chart okay so you know time frames are flexible but it also means is when we're in New York we need to try to trade a higher time frame otherwise we'll be whipsawed if you don't have the money here to trade say in the New York house 
start on the micro so hopefully you get um, uh, the drift of what I'm trying to really get across but and for the gentleman that did email no doubt he's, he's on my base so no doubt he'll get this uh, video thank you for bringing it up because no doubt other people have the same thought as well so let's talk about the four trades I've taken here today right scalp and run technique that is I'm in and out that suits my personality right so four trades within 30 minutes uh, gross 12 uh, 80 as you'll see on the on the uh, dominant moment screenshots 11 uh, 96 40 after commissions now traders uh, these I think were around 1 a.m. Central Standard Time I took these trades okay now uh, the contracts rolled over so you won't actually see on the chart I'll, I'll take you to the charts in a moment you won't see the uh, the trade entries fortunately I've taken screenshots here but a couple of key points will get to the when I get to the charts in a moment for an example the high of day and swing high of day or the swing high and the high of day let me get this right these are important points I want you to notice here this well you'll see it on the chart in a moment this is the high of day note down here the pivots and these are points that as traders you need to learn uh, and to really be looking for and reviewing each and every day where are the pivot levels where are the prior open high low and close levels where are the 89 and 200 EMAs particularly on your anchor charts and that is very relevant here today in this video and you'll see I show this in every video where's the intraday swing high where's the current days high that was the current days high you I went rallied up here and I front run I exited there a few ticks beforehand over here okay we'd set a new high I front run that means we get out a few ticks before everyone else at the high of day now here we tick through by a couple of ticks and over here we well and truly push through but that's not always the case for an example just here we rallied up to the high and then it reversed okay so for scalping we want to get in get out and get on to the next trade now there are certain round numbers which is beyond today's video uh, like on oil um, on the NQ on ES on YM there are certain round numbers that we really need to obey because we bounce off those very similar to the pivots so let's go to the charts and let me show you how you can be doing this or how you can also master this with the setups that I teach now I've been doing this now for 28 years I've got, a, I've got thousands of hours of experience under my belt the great thing is I've done the hard yards for you but what I'm about to show you here ain't rocket science traders okay so let's get to the basics now see this some um, uh, green the line green line this is actually the high of the trading session and you can see here how just they see we rallied up and we missed it by a tick then it come back down we rallied back up so these are what we call price magnets see down here um, uh, this level here this is called a pivot this is actually the R2 which stands for resistance so we come down we bounce see how we rallied up to the high of day see how we come down and we bounced okay we come down we rallied up to the high once you understand how to trade these this will make a massive difference to your trading because they become what we call pivot magnet trades PM trades or T28s uh, very high probability particularly when you're trading with both your entry chart in the direction of these magnets as well as your um, anchor chart one why do they work so well because they're predictive because professional traders we trade these we trade the pivots we trade the high of day we trade the round numbers the major EMAs and so you, um, they become a self-fulfilling prophecy so just here is the first trade okay uh, price came down I had a little pivot bounce I had a little double bottom little bit of divergence thank you very much now the, I call these steps by the way now when I'm trading 
um, during the uh, sorry during the globex session I'm after between 14 and 16 ticks so each one of these steps here is worth ten dollars by the way okay so uh, uh, 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 so it depends where you want to get out I like using a fixed target as a scalper scalpers don't usually trail we get in look out for a next opportunity get in get out okay so um, down here out of this one now trade to price retraced down here uh, and for members watching this this is a 3b and this is a 2b and away we go now up here uh, I bought here and let me just show you this into the high of day well you may remember this slide I showed you just here where I said I front run that high and you can just see my exit the little cyan line just below there well that is um, where are we here that is just below here so I had the indicator turned off so this shows you the high of day so that was two out of two now we actually had here a little 34b into the high of day now for those um, that uh, really know their stuff for those that have been trading for a period of time we can see here we've got a slightly higher high and a lower high and this is called a zero lag MACD platinum now all of my indicators I give to all of my members okay if uh, I've if there's a platform that I don't have them for I give you indicator settings that you can use on basically any indicator to model almost all of my indicators so you just start here higher high in price lower high then we formed what I call a T7 a beautiful little double top uh, it was also what we call a ka trade and even greater divergence and down we come now these T10s members remember your best T10s will be after divergence we then um, pulled back here uh, and I missed this trade unfortunately this is called a T3 pivot bounce now a t3 is a reversion to the mean trade it's where the market just gets extended and I've discovered a little um, mathematical rule of a certain distance uh, when you get extended where it's a very high probability um, snapback trade uh, but I can't remember why I missed it at the time but anyway uh, where it becomes a loaded trade is like here where it's also a PB a pivot bounce remember pivots act as support and resistance so then I entered this trade here I've got to show you the anchor chart one why I took this trade whoops let me just um uh, where's the PowerPoint let me pull that up again and just have to uh, minimize that so I can go here remember um, before I showed you the slide and I said what you've got to be very aware of is where your 89 and 200 EMAs are particularly on your anchor charts you'll be blown away with when you know when to trade them how accurate and how reliable they are um, to take a support resistance trades so that was a 3b whoops sorry about that uh, let me just I uh, see why it's moving I've got slides upstairs that are moving as well but on the right there hopefully you can see that I'm bouncing off the uh, 89 EMA there as well and up we go okay so I exited somewhere um, can't remember where it was up around this point here picked up the 14 to 16 ticks at the time I then took the fourth trade of the day and let me just show you this on the PowerPoint again so that was trade one. Oh, we got out here. Sorry, at the, at the swing. Uh, no, wrong one. Here we go. So this one here, I got out up here. Then I re entered very soon after. Remember a few minutes ago, I said that the high of day uh, intraday swings, they all act like price magnets when you've got certain conditions behind you. So uh, this is what we call a 13b or a t25 now a t25 setup is the old floor traders strategy been around for years and years but once you learn how to trade it very similar to a little flag pattern etc very very effective as a strategy 
and so I took that then up and front run once again just below the high of day just up there so I got out just up here so that was four out of four within a 20 minutes oh, sorry 30 minutes I think it was now there are a ton of when I say a ton that's an exaggeration there are a number of other setups on the way I had um, uh, t20 just uh, t20 dash one just there we had a couple of t10s uh, let's see what else do we, we have the, the 34 beat of a high of day and with these by the way how do you trade when you've got a great setup maybe like here this was um, a two beats so that's a, a no-brainer but as you get closer to a pivot or a high of day or a intraday swing how do you trade those well if you look at this one here I want you to assume here and even this one now let's take this let's just say you're really close to a pivot magnet okay whether it be a pivot swing high whatever uh, what we want to do is get to break even as soon as we can why because we may get a reversal that comes out stops us out now this can happen also this is a fairly deep pullback though but we major move down here but say if we entered up here this is what you've got to watch it comes down and stops you out so this is a case where this one which is by the way a 34b where we punched through okay we got through so once you're in the green in the money or as soon as you hit your pivot you want to get to break even okay try to cover your commissions now and then hope you push through you may choose to cover your trade take your profits at these levels I don't think there's any real right or wrong but if you've got a really strong trendy market uh, you usually push through okay and then just just trail your stop manually because this will happen time and time again you then get these deep pullbacks so traders this isn't rocket science what it is it's about probabilities it's about thinking and trading in probabilities of 20 there's no certainties in day trading there's only probabilities and so if we know that we say trading two B's where you're trading a retracement in the direction of a higher time frame okay you've got a good 75 to 80 percent trade as Dick Diamond says if it's not an 80 20 trade you shouldn't be taking the trade now there are slight exceptions to the rule there for an example if you're going to go for a, a really large move or you're a swing trader there you may be prepared to have a much lower risk but what I found is out of the hundreds of day traders I've got um, that uh, are members is most want to get in get out of the market so once again traders please subscribe to my channel uh, uh, better still um, come and join me become a member come and join me in the classes I'll teach you uh, how to day trade uh, and once so you can click on the link below to join and please also remember where are we here so we're up to session 54 I'm actually about to record session 55 so that's my target each day now if you all have and will have different profit targets okay um, I tend to find young guns they want to go for their 20 grand a week good on you okay some uh, traders I know that are in the room are happy with a thousand a week 500 a week it's so horses for courses okay um, uh, so it really comes down to um, quite frankly some of us older dogs I'm 63 are happy with you know plodding along you know it's also about lifestyle enjoying in enjoying your trading career anyway enough of that let me go and record session 55 and uh, hopefully I'll see you on board as a member thanks traders